1987, 88. Hey, we want some. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The girl will say, "Stop!" I say, "I'm not." That's enough. Come on, home. Yeah, no, Damn, that's, that's a song. song. So, yeah, that's so, a song. Yeah, so, that's so, so here right. we are, crazy. So here we are, kids. Hearing this is no different than when the kids hear Molly's Percocets, yeah. Xanax, yeah. Xanax. Yeah. Xanax. So, so, so we trying to mimic the culture. Now we yeah. trying to have our trains. Yep. Tell me, where in the world can twelve, thirteen? 14 year olds and 11 year olds have trains responsibly. So he was a child. But that point would only make sense to anybody who dared to look further than that video that Abra and Preach made. And this was mad annoying because this is the same Abra and Preach who advocated for fresh and fit in the face of Ethan Klein, who was trying to basically accuse these men of being serial essayers. But they took the side of fresh and fit because it was the right thing to do. Whereas now we have come full circle to Abba and Preach now misrepresenting the truth, not telling the full story and taking things on face value, the same things it was that they called out Ethan Klein for. When Abba and Preach do things like this, it does make it seem like a misdirection, right? I've always known them as being like in the middle and being able to give a fair opinion, but I've seen them turn extremely biased i'm telling you once they grew it was like we can do whatever we want we can say whatever right we can do the same things that we used to call out we we, we with the cancer culture now we with the the whole oh you you spoke to this person once that must mean you agree with every statement they've ever made and you got to, you know, uphold to that. You got to be held accountable. I'm with accountability and people owning up to their stuff, right? I think that some people take it too far and over the top. Like most things nowadays. Most of these movements. They have a valid point at first. And people will go overboard. That's just how it is. Oh, you a feminist? Oh, you want these? All right, cool, cool, cool. Years later, oh, you you want superiority? Even older feminists is like, yeah, that's not what we we wanted. They they going crazy now. That's how it is with a lot of movements. Oh, Black Lives Matter. Oh, oh. okay. You you how much money y'all want? Mansions, mansions, so you could throw parties. Oh, this is crazy. And it's all on the Black Lives Matter's name, right? Y'all should watch that Candace Owen doc documentary is it's really amazing really amazing but yeah when it comes to having preach i just i lost a lot of respect for them i don't think they carry a lot of credibility when it comes to like being honest and things like i, I really believe that they are truly biased and they hate and despise and despise fresh and fit and i understand fresh and fit was wrong for the like the the copyright strikes and all that but Dang, you might have to let that go, man. You might have to let that go. I'm telling you, this, people have done the same thing to me. Worse, though, like sent more, even more, and then dox me afterwards when the copyrights didn't work, and then try to get me kicked out of my building, and yada, 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 yada. And mind you, I've talked about them maybe once in like years. <laughs> it feels like. It feels like cause it's not a relevant topic and it's just like, well, for what? I'm going to just hold on to it. No, it, it, it was nasty. It was foul. It was wrong. But whatever, man. Part of the game, bro. There's nasty and disgusting people in this world. And you, as an adult, you got to deal with it. You got to deal with it. And that's not me calling fresh and fit nasty or disgusting. I do think that they made a mistake and they might not have been aware um, but I believe people deserve the opportunity to show growth and change if that's what they want to do. Right. And I think they do a lot of helpful things for um, men. Right. And I've seen them say like a lot of amazing things, bro, that I think men should pay attention to. I'm not going to say that uh, like absolves them from any types of criticism. But I do think that Abba and Preach, they being petty. Abba pre is, is petty. Abba petty. Super petty. Abba petty times a thousand. Abba 
is <laughs> Abba. Abba is uh, petty like I used to be. And then I grew up and got more mature and realized that it does nothing for me to be that petty at all. Now, um, micro petty, micro dosing petty. I'm talking petty in the small scales. I'm Seinfeld petty. I'm, I'm TV show petty. But that's my opinion, man. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize we were talking about somebody that was formerly known as Petty Page. Check out the full video, man. I do think that it's a really well done video. She stepped her game up and made a lot of growth. I disagree with her on a few things, but I think that she's made a lot of growth and tries to look at things more fair. So check out the full video if you would like more context uninterrupted by me and yada, yada, yada. I've been preach. I ain't got no hard feelings. So it's them. I, don't, I don't know them. You know what I mean? But I just, I notice a lot of things that just don't sit right with me. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yeah. If you want access to my live streams, follow me on Twitch and follow me on Rumble. Oh uh, yeah, that's where you get that exclusive, man. And if you want access to my face, videos where I show my face, go ahead and check out my Patreon, man. Show some love and support. It really helps me out. Keeps the channel going. Check out that merch too as well.